In the MATLAB command window, let's finish the execution, okay? You can perform any single operation that you want. You can do a lot of calculations here. and obtain its values here. You have a lot of built-in functions in MATLAB to calculate almost everything that you need. The square root, the sin, the cosine, the absolute value. And there are also a lot of built-in constants like pi, for example. But there are many more. You have a lot of auxiliary built-in functions, as we saw before, to clear the screen, to delete a concrete variable, to delete every variable, to pause the execution, to and many more. Okay, let's go to example number two. Here, let's open it. Here we will learn about matrix and vectors and arrays. Everything in MATLAB, it's an array. So, you need to know how to work with this type of data. There are a lot of different ways to declare a variable. Here I uh, have included some examples. You can separate them by commas. A semicolon means a new line. You can use auxiliary functions. This one, for example, uh, returns a 3x3 three three matrix all of ones. This one, a 3 by 5 matrix of all zeros. You can concatenate matrix. For example, B and C to obtain a new matrix called D. OK, let's run this example and see it working. OK, this is A. You have seen that I have declared this matrix, separating each element from the same line with commas. and changing the line, uh, the row, I'm sorry, uh, with uh, the semicolon operator. Okay, this is the matrix, the 3x3 three three, uh, matrix, uh, all of 1, all of 0, the concatenation of the two of them, one on the top and the other one in the bottom. And this is uh, an array. A will t has four values, one, two, three, and four. And now we will change some values of this, of this array. So we are here. What we do is to say that the second value of A, of the array A, will take 99 as, a, as its value. So here we run this example and we see that now A the value of the second value of a it's 99 okay let's move on let's generate some even numbers from 1 from 2 i'm sorry to 20 we say the first one of them colon 2 and 20 so this will do 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and so on until it gets to 20. So we, uh, the return will be 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. And we will do the same with the odd numbers. Okay, this is the output 2, 4, 6. So this, the colon operator allows us to uh, create very fast uh, some, uh, some arrays. Another way to initialize vectors is to use the function linspace. We say the, the inputs of this function will be the first value, the last value, and the number of values that we want between the beginning and the end of the, of the, of the array. In this case, we will have 10 values between 0 and 4 pi. Okay, another data type very useful and what uh, we are going to use in the RTL, RTL domain is the structure. And a structure is a more complex uh, data uh, structure. Uh, you can have a lot of parameters and you handle them with the name of the structure, in this case is a structure, and 
also the name of the parameter. So Structura here will have three parameters, name, age and country. So we assign the name, my name, Juan, my age, 34, and my country, which is Spain. And we display this its content. So let's go. And I, here we have that a Structura. It's an extract with three fields, name, age and country. So let's see, uh, let's change one of these uh, fields. For example, let's imagine that today is my birthday and I am one year older. So what we need to do is to say that structure dot age, the, the field age, is its uh, current value structure dot age plus one and see its return. Now my age is 35. Thank you.